a toast in honor of this special night. All right. This is getting better. No matter how much time passes, old friends are never forgotten. Drink to that. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Brianna, welcome to the 21st century. How did we come to be here? The last spell I cast before Wilkins condemned me to the pyre, my blood entwined with the symbol in the book which called to my heir. And when she touched it, I gained possession of her body and brought you back. I'm gorgeous. Look at these. <laughs> yes, they're very nice. Ah, uh, the woods of France. I'd know them anywhere. We're in Kansas, Madeline. Where? The Americas. I am unsure as to why I was resurrected here. It was not of my intention, but... The book! Do you have it? It is ours once again. And with it, our magics. Now we may continue our quest for the stone. Oh, uh, is that the same quest that got us burnt at the stake? That was not pleasant. A small toll to travel the road of ultimate power. You have your host's memories. Use them to navigate this world and help us to seize the power. here because Lana wants me to be here. Because I'm her boyfriend, whether you like it or not. Before the angry mob set us on fire? You're really not gonna let that go, are you? The guy from Princeton's gonna be here any minute. Why are you so late? I took the scenic route. Love the view. Have you been drinking? Hey, so. I don't want to be rude, but I think I'm just going to tell Chloe happy birthday and take off. Well, you're a big boy. You can do what you want. Well, you're the one who wanted me here. Well, things change. Why are you acting like this? And why are you dressed like that? Because it makes me feel sexy. Weren't you leaving? The food is so good in this century. And the men actually bathe. <sighs> and their bodies are so hard. Mm. But we have definitely had better celebrations. This is appalling. Mm, we could change that. Well, it has been 400 years. Perhaps a little fun before we continue our quest. Is 
Aren't you so glad you came, Clark? We are going to have so much fun. Okay, Lois, you got me here. You can stop laying it on. I'm going to go get some punch. This time we won't have any natural disasters. I'm really surprised that you made it. Yeah, well, remember all those regrets that we were talking about? Well, I think not seeing you with a crown on your head would be the top of the list. <sighs> I'm glad you're here. Clark! Clark! It's called an escort for a reason. And you're here. In pink. <laughs> Why? I came to uh, cheer you on, of course. Excuse me, everybody. Excuse me. Thanks, guys. If I could just get your attention for a moment. Thank you. It is time for the big announcement. OK, if by some weird reason I win, the tiara burning party's in my house. Let's get closer. You voted, and the results are in. This year's Smallville High prom queen is Chloe Sullivan! Come on up here, Chloe. Congratulations! What the hell am I doing in a dress? And what the hell am I doing at your prom? Oh, no. Did you pin that on me? I'll explain later, Lois. A little close to the boob, don't you think? Oh my god, you guys, thank you so much. This is so totally awesome. I guess I could say I've looked to the stars and wished for this moment ever since I was a little girl. You can dream of standing here your whole life. But right now, looking down on all of you, I just... This is just so totally genius. Thank you so much. Although, I just have to say that the person who really deserves this honor is Dawn Styles. No, seriously, you guys. Seriously. She gave so much of herself, way more than Chloe Sullivan. One night that I will always remember, and you will never forget. Okay, Smallville, I clicked my heels together three times and nothing happened. Better tell me what's going on. You should all be very proud. The four of you were amazing during rush week. Like little diamonds in the rough just waiting to be polished. But not everyone is tri sign material. It's sad, but it's a fact. Carol, Bobby, Susan, please step forward. The three of you are really great! But great isn't enough for a tri -sci. A tri -sci has to be excellent all over. Bye now. Toodles. Bye-bye. No. Wait, wait a minute. You mean that I'm in? Lana, come on. You're amazing. Of course we want you to be one of us. Wow. <laughs> um, thank you. There is just this little initiation thing that we have to do first. What the hell are you? A try size. The hottest vampires ever. Um.
Welcome to the Sisterhood. If I lose any more patience, Lex, you won't be around to see it. I told you I don't have anything to hide. This is Project Sign. You can see for yourself. The password is 51805. That's the date of the last meteor shower. You're tracking aliens? You said you stopped looking into this. If you don't stop, more people will die. Lana, there's a reason for everything that has happened to me. Don't you see? My miraculous rescue from the river, the spacecrafts, those creatures who landed with the meteors, it's not a coincidence. You're right. Because your hunger for power landed you in the middle of it all. There's a reason you came to me and not Clark. You trusted me. That's all over. Is it? Then why have you been trailing me, spying on me, stalking every move that I make? Because the world should know what a liar you are. I will dig up every track you have buried until it kills me. I won't let you hurt anyone else. And I haven't, have I? Thought I'm trying to save people. We started this together. Those creatures, they were only the first. There will be more. Project Cyan might be our only hope. So you've appointed yourself prophet of the alien invasion. It wasn't until St. Paul was struck blind by lightning on the road to Damascus that he saw his higher calling. I want the world to know you as well as I do. Saving the world isn't in your nature, Lex. What are you really up to? Run away. Killing me, it would almost be release. The only person who would really suffer is you. From guilt? I think I'll get over it. From knowing that Clark would never look at you the same way again. He's not like us, Lana. You might not want to admit it, but we understand each other. We understand doing whatever it takes to survive. I have to take care of your unfinished business. I'll take care of Lex. No, you won't. You're too afraid to get blood on your hands. Taking people's lives is not our choice to make. And how many people would still be alive if you had had the guts to get rid of Lex a long time ago? Lana, I'm taking Lex out of here. Anna wasn't even his type. I couldn't kill you in front of him. But now that you're alone, I'll make sure you never take him away. Oh, Smallville? 
Look, I don't know who or what you are, but you got it all wrong, lady. There is nothing romantic between Lois and Clark. You have a deep connection to him. I felt it. Then your radar's on the fritz. Because even on a good day, we're barely friends. You would never have been able to pull away from me if he wasn't drawn by his attraction to you. Look, he's about as attracted to me as a Red Sox fan to the Yankees. We may not know it yet, but believe me, there's a bond. And I could see it on your face when you caught us together. You feel it too. But I finally found the man that I've wanted all my life, and you can't have him. Free! How did you get back here? Kent of the Daily Planet. Looks like you reporters think you had a little story here. Oh, that's it. Wow, that's far. If you want, I can tell you how it ends. Come on, Lois. Why did you do that, Clark? You didn't need to be so 
some kind of hero. Lois, you have to get me out of here. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Come on. Medics are on the way. Come on, superhero. You're gonna be fine. So how does one ask for permission to marry on Krypton? The last time that Kara was in town, she told me in Kryptonian culture, the head of the house has to approve all life unions. Life unions? Why you stop being so romantic? Carlel, my son, you have returned. Jor-El, I come here today as a Kryptonian, and as a member of your house, your son. In honor of our home, I'm here to declare my desire to start a life bond with this woman. Lois Lane. Lois Lane. Do you truly intend to initiate a life union with my son? I do. Your plan is observed. If your lives are to be joined, then you must both understand. Super. 